back to the channel. You're watching HQBMW. Today, we're just going to do some small pieces here and there. Uh, I've done a little bit of uh, accent pieces around the car with the new green vinyl. Depending on if we wrap it or we keep it white, I'm going to do all the accent pieces in this like neon green that you can actually see right behind us. I wrapped the front splitter arms and then did just a couple little graphics on the front splitter. And I've done uh, the banner on the car installed the airlift uh, suspension decal on the front window and it covers the chip so I think I'm going to be happy with that for this season. One thing I never showed you guys was I took the manifold out of the trunk, I rebuilt the bottom plate and got the plate and the new bracket uh, installed. So I'll show you guys right now as it's still in the house we're actually going to dismantle it, take it apart, and I'm going to paint the bracket black. So I made a new plate, just like the last one. It's made out of that uh, aluminum composite core material. And I actually wrapped it with some chrome vinyl. And there is the new bracket holding the manifold so we're going to take it apart get this painted black one other thing we've done was i took the side skirt extensions off the car you guys will probably know that they're actually wrapped in gray vinyl which used to be on the car we're going to strip the vinyl off and clean them and i actually built a makeshift paint booth in the garage so once we get these side skirt extensions cleared off and clean and prepped and ready for paint we'll go out to the garage it's being warmed up right now and i'll show you guys the makeshift paint booth more or less it's just to keep the overspray from going on the cars that's my intention behind it it's nothing professional or anything like a proper paint booth with ventilation and all that stuff it's just that's not the reason for it but Let's get these stripped off and we'll head into the garage and I'll show you guys the paint booth. I have a question for all of you guys out there. I'm hoping somebody out there can help me with this question. But these bumper inserts, they're not really black. They're kind of like a gray -y black, if you can see here. It's like they're kind of sun faded as well. They just don't have that deep, dark black color anymore so I'm wondering how do you make these black again um, uh, I've washed them I've used a heavy-duty cleaner degreaser and they just they kind of look black and I'd like to make these as black as possible before we put the front bumper back together I'm tempted to spray paint them this matte black but I thought I'd reach out to you guys first and see if there's anyone out there that can help me in getting these pieces back to black you can see actually where it's faded because you can see the old 
lines of where the grill sat. That's not shadows, that's that's actually like it's it's faded. So I kind of would like to get these back to black, but I'm not sure how. I've tried everything that I thought of apart from yeah, spraying them black. The makeshift paint booth. I'll show you the outside first. It's kind of a tent looking thing. And this is the door here. Like I said, it's basically just to keep overspray off of the cars. Got a heater in here to try and keep the temperature up. But I think this will be as good as we are going to get. Apart from just taking the cars out of here, which I don't want to do because, well, Quinn's clean and it's snowing outside. Welcome to spring in Calgary. But you can see I did the center caps and we did the front window with the banner and no rock chip visible. It's actually right under this L. So, I'll take it. I'm happy with that. I can't see it from the outside, and to me, that's all that matters. We'll do these cross members in the same color. And I guess another thing I haven't showed you guys was I tried wrapping a panel myself for the first time. I've never ever wrapped an, a panel all by myself. So I just, I really took my time and wanted to make sure that all the corners were really nice and clean and turned out okay. What do you guys think of this color? Should I wrap the whole car this color? The only problem is I don't know if I can get this material anymore. It was kind of a leftover from another project that I, I had and I thought why not try to do a, a panel for the first time because I've never like I said I've never wrapped a whole panel before but it's not easy um, obviously it's that's why wraps cost so much money uh, the materials expensive but the time invested into doing a proper job is you can't put a price on that and it, I mean it turned out really nice but I just don't think I would attempt to do a full car if you're in the Alberta area and you want to get your car wrapped like I said before go see Brandon I'll drop his link below at Elite Auto Styling he'll take care of you and his wraps are 100% award-winning. He takes his time, he does it right, and there's a warranty on the wraps. So enough of me chattering. Let's get in and spray these side skirt extensions. While they're drying, we'll go in and take the bracket apart and get the black ready to spray and lay down as well. So I got the side skirt extensions painted. The paint booth was, I would say it was a fail. Because there was no ventilation, there was nowhere for the the overspray and the fumes to go. So it kind of just lingered in this tent and it stayed like super hazy. And the smell in the garage now is outrageous. One, I should have wore a respirator. I looked for mine, but I can't find it. So we're going to have to get a new one. But secondly, no bueno. Uh, I'm gonna take this paint booth tent down. I did manage to get the side skirt extension sprayed, but I don't think I'm gonna do that again. There was some um, like fine, fine, fine dust that fell on both vehicles. Uh, I've already cleaned Quinn off and 
I got a good portion of the X1 cleaned off as well. I started polishing the X1 while I was waiting for the coats to dry, but I got those sprayed and we got the front cross member bars uh, wrapped. There we go. Those are no longer blue. Nice and neon green. What do you guys think of the accent colors? Should I just do white with these accents and then we can see what uh, the car looks like? Or should we wrap it? I know Brandon really wants to wrap it. And I've done some renderings lately of what the car would look like a, a blue wrap. I will put them right here. So let me know what you guys think of these renderings. I just did these for a really quick turnaround on Photoshop on my iPad and I think they look pretty cool, but I'm just not sure if I'm sold on that color yet. But drop a comment below, let me know. So we got the side skirt extensions painted. Obviously don't worry about this inside edge because that sits underneath the side skirt and we got the manifold mount quickly sprayed as well so we can put that back together not not unsuccessful we were successful we've got them painted white and I think now that's gonna last longer I thought about wrapping them white again but I just I think it's better painted it's done it's finished I don't have to worry about it and then if in the future if I scuff it with my heel or whatever it's just gonna be easy to fix we can do a quick touch up I'm trying to do as much as I can here in the garage with the bum foot and obviously with the virus going on I can't drive I can't get out I can't do anything so I'm doing as much as I can to keep this channel running for you. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Drop a comment below if you have any ideas. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe. Peace. <music>